mock us. We are ready to go. He is ready. Scott? I'm ready. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, obviously, we're excited to get back into uh, game week. I think we uh, utilized our time last week well, both uh, uh, off the field and on the field with our guys. And... and uh, Get caught up academically, got some work in on the field, got some recruiting done. So uh, it's a productive week for us, but we're excited to get back into game week. Uh, Hawaii's a uh, uh, good team. Uh, obviously, you know, I think they're awfully good. If you, if you guys uh, had been watching the same film I've been watching for the last week, uh, you would agree with that. So uh, we'll have our hands full on Saturday and, and uh, need to have a great week of preparation. Get ready to go. Bobby, do you feel like because of the way last season ended, you don't have to convince your players how good this team is? Uh, gosh, I can't. Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine there'd be anything but uh, extreme motivation to go play this weekend. Do you, do you think... For lots of reasons, actually. Right. Do you, do you think that come off the field in Honolulu, that might be as low as you've been, and compare that to now where you guys are on three-game streak, winning streak? Well, it was a bad performance by us. And, you know, we, we went in that game thinking we were going to have a good chance to win it, and they just went out and kicked our tail. So, uh, you know, we need to obviously be aware of that, and, and we are. I don't, I think that uh, the competitive nature of this group will uh, uh, not let them forget it. And, uh, you know, we'll be excited to go play this weekend. Could you talk about recruiting in Hawaii when you first came here? If you knew, I mean, obviously, how many Hawaiians go to school here, and when this this becomes a really big game, whereas most people across the country might look at it and say, "Well, why is that a rivalry?" But it really is. You go through a little bit of that thinking, and you have players on your team, obviously, from Hawaii. Yeah, we have we have uh, numerous guys uh, on our team from the state. We've got a lot of guys on our team with uh, uh, Polynesian background. Uh, you know, there's a lot of transplanted Hawaiian natives here in town so there are all kinds of reasons why this is a big game here and uh, you know I I, uh, I don't think that's lost on our guys certainly I don't think that's lost on our players certainly Caleb do you know uh, people from Hawaii that go to school here and you've been involved in games here uh, it goes back a while where there were issues in the stands that's kind of been away for a while but it, it's certainly heated, it seems like, when you guys play for it, so whatever reason. Yeah, I mean, like Coach said, there's there's guys on our team definitely that, that, you know, I'm close with that either are from Hawaii or have, you know, some, some tie to it. And um, I guess the, the fans, they, they come out and support Hawaii here. Um, it's been They've been known to have big crowds here. And uh, so that, that definitely intensifies the feeling out there on Saturday. So it's a big game for us. Was there anything different defensively last year that Hawaii did that kind of threw off your rhythm offensively that you saw? Uh, last year you talked about? Uh, I can't remember. It seemed like they had a different kind of scheme. Out yeah, I, that was 10 months ago, man. I, <laughs> I can't remember what I had for breakfast. My bad. Connie, what do you remember from that game? <laughs> last year? Yeah. Uh, we gave up big plays. We didn't tackle right, so... We're going to fix that. You remember your, what you were thinking at the end there? What happened? I mean, we just, like I said, big play is what killed us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you found when you talk to kids and when you go recruit the islands that how, how much of it, the, the kind of island atmosphere helps you there or do they still want you to win and look at the record first? I mean, how much does it, that there are a lot of Hawaiians here even help you or does it does it kind of become secondary to what they really want? Uh you know, I just think in general, um, Ed, the kids in Hawaii have some affinity for Vegas. I think they know people here. They know about uh, uh, they know they know Las Vegas just in general. So it's not uh, like we're in Tennessee or something. I mean, they they kind of have some affinity for it. Cause they, I don't know if it's because they know people here or, or they've been here or, or what the case may be. But um, kids are receptive over there. It seems like. What did you see that Hawaii did to kind of make that uh, that Fresno game close there at the end? Uh, they just they made plays, you know. It, it kind of comes down to it sometimes. And uh, uh, in the first half, Fresno was making the plays, and the second half, Hawaii was making them.
talked about the bye week earlier, just kind of the, the extra time that guys have had for academics and things like that. Has it been, I mean, just, I guess, what's it been like to have, you know, kind of more time to be around the community and things like that at a time where it's got to feel good to go out and represent UNLV football? Well, it always feels good to go out and represent UNLV football. Are you getting, but I mean, as far as like the reaction of everyone else being maybe as positive as you guys, or at least closer to that, as opposed to uh, when people, you know, outsiders may be down. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. I, I like being out in the community all the time. So, you know, nothing's changed for me because we won a couple. You know, people have been good to us. What have you seen from the, the quarterback, Schroeder? Well, we're not sure who we're going to play. Um, I, I don't, I, it's either going to be uh, Graham or Schroeder. Um, Schroeder came in, as, as Taylor asked a minute ago, the second half of the Fresno game played really well. Um, they made a lot of plays. Um, so I, I, don't, I don't know which one of them we're going to play. But I don't think their, their offense will change a bunch if either one of those two is in the game. Uh, if they bring in number 15, they'll do a little more read zone, quarterback run type stuff. we got to be ready for that as well. But I, I think it'll be Graham or Schroeder. Bobby, can you talk about what three wins have done for the program? I mean, you ended the, the streak. You don't have to talk about that anymore. Obviously, three wins in a row for the first time since quite a while now going for four. Just what this winning streak has done for the program? Well, we wanted to get out of September in contention to – accomplished some team goals and we did that so um, you know we'll be excited to go play this weekend and you know I, again we're three and two we want to get to four and two that's that's kind of where we're at it's let's not make more of it than it is if you if you break the season up and you know do you do it in three four game increments can you just talk about kind of where you're at now as to where you've been in the, few, in the past well we got a real demanding October October in front of us um Starting with Hawaii this weekend, but it's it's going to be a, a a heck of a month. So we we better be ready to go Saturday. You don't remember what you had for breakfast, but what what were you doing in 1984? 1984, <laughs> probably a lot of stuff I shouldn't have been doing. <laughs> How's that, <laughs> Caleb? Well, Caleb wasn't born. Caleb, what were you? Caleb, these guys are I wasn't in existence yet, but <laughs> <laughs> hopefully I wasn't in trouble. Then. But yeah, <laughs> leave that to me at that point in time. All right, same thing. I, mean, I think we get the same answer. Nineteen eighty-four. Mm-hmm. Come on around. So, Bobby, you're doing accomplishments. I'm the only one. You're, you're doing stuff that hasn't been done here a lot. I mean, isn't that a good feeling? I mean, it is. I mean, obviously, yeah. obviously, you you, you uh, go play to win, and and for me, uh, frankly, it's more about these guys than anything else. And I'm uh, enthused for them because they've worked hard. They deserve to have some success, and and it's been it's been fun to be around them. And and uh, you know, we we just again need to have a great week and. And keep it going. Can you expound on that a little bit, Coach? Just fun to be around them. Just is the attitude. You notice different things. What do you? Uh, you know, it's it's more about just seeing them, see their work pay off. You know, they, these guys have worked hard. So to, to see them enjoy uh, college football and, and enjoy uh, the fruits of their labor a little bit <coughs> has been has been good for me and and for uh, you know Mark and Kyle and all the other guys that are have been around here for a while. Caleb, how important is it to win Saturday to kind of keep it momentum going into the second half of the season? I think it's it's just as important this weekend as it is every weekend to win on Saturday. I mean, that that's the goal of preparation every week is to go out and get win. So, uh, yeah, with like you said, with the streak and everything going on, um, you know that's that's good and everything. But uh, we're just we're just looking to get this next week, get a W, and keep them rolling. Do you think that after three wins? The week off kind of breaks the momentum. Would you rather have not had the week off, or do you think it, it helps? I just think it's a hypothetical question that doesn't matter because it we don't have any choice. So whatever. I mean, it's there. So I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think I haven't given it any thought. You know, it's that's where the bye week was. That's where the open date was. So we did our best to uh, 
make it useful. So that's that's it is what it is. We don't get to name it and say, hey, this week we're going to take off. So. Do you think the momentum's carried over? I have no idea. We'll find out Saturday. That's why we get to go play. <coughs> How enjoyable was that by week for you guys, you know? Um, coming off a win and just, did, did you just have fun with it? I mean, was it the best attitude you've been, you had maybe since you've been here when you well, had a bye week? Oh, well, I mean, it's, we didn't have a bye week last year, I don't think, during, during the season. So, uh, yeah, we went, it was, you know, it's a little bit different, I guess, to have a, a bye week in the middle of the season. But, um, I mean, it, it was more about, being smart with the time off, I guess that's the best way to look at it. Um, yeah, we definitely enjoyed ourselves a little bit more after the win, but we still came back and, you know, when we were out here, we were focused and trying to get something out of the time that we had here, but it was also a good opportunity to get some rest and, uh, you know, get back in physical condition to perform at a high level. So, yeah, the bye weeks are always good. Have you noticed a different reaction from the community when you've been out and about? Just, uh, the biggest thing is just people are, you know, on campus, I guess, walking around, people that have, have been, you know, following us and waiting for something good to happen or finally maybe, you know, saying something about it now. It, you know, it's not just a quiet walk through campus as, as a UNLV football player anymore, but you definitely see a little bit of a response, but it's not too much different because I don't think that's the way it should be. I don't think um, we're done yet, so I think that I, I, I want to keep driving to keep doing good. Can you talk about um, having Marcus back in line and what that does as far as now teams can't go after Devontae as much? Well, I, yeah, that, that pretty much hits it on the head. I mean, we have a lot of weapons on offense, and, you know, adding Marcus just adds another weapon. So um, gives us another thing that we can take advantage of and that other teams have to prepare for. Tommy, you talk about the defensive side of the ball. Obviously, you've had to rely on the offense, especially that New Mexico. <coughs> just, just your mindset going into this uh, Hawaii game. Um, our mindset is tack- tackle better. You know, last, two weeks ago we missed a lot of tackles, and the bye week we really used that to get ourselves ready for the Hawaii game. They have big backs; they're a good team, and want to go out there and play our game. Kind of touch upon, but do you feel like I mean you, you have something to prove, especially what they did to you guys last year? Yeah, we. I don't know. We just gotta just remember what they did last last year, like in the middle of the game, and just focus on our assignments. Tony, is the case we can only enjoy it so much because I know you guys have that bowl game also as a goal. Yeah. And so I mean, is it almost like okay, we're off to the great start, but hey, the second part of the season starting right now. Is that how you kind of approach it? Yeah. We won three games, which is good, but we still have a long road ahead of us, and we got to go win the rest of the season, starting with it this week coming up. <coughs> Caleb, what's been the biggest difference in your game two years ago to now? I'm just executing what I know to do. I mean, there's a lot of times looking back where, I, you know, things were there to be executed and just weren't executed. Now just taking advantage of, you know, things that I know to do and things that I've been coached to do and doing it more consistently, I think it's just, that's the, that's the main difference. Feel how confident or more, more comfortable are you when you have a target like Devontae and just basically throw it in his general direction and even if he's covered, you feel he's going to come down with it? That that's huge. I mean, you know, like you said, he he comes down with the majority of the passes that are thrown up for him to make a play with, and yeah, it definitely gives me a little bit more confidence. Glad I'm not doing the play-by-play on this game. Looking at these names, holy cow! I have to help me some of this. <laughs> Goodness. Is that what they need? What's that? Is that last year's game? Ah, uh, this is their depth chart uh-huh. I'm looking at. Just like, goodness gracious. What a lot of, you lot of bowels. <laughs> <laughs> Help me with that. What's that? I was going to say, what impresses you most about Hawaii when you look at that? Uh... You know, I, they're a pretty complete team. They're good, as Tony said. They've got big backs. Their their skill guys are uh, <clears throat> making a lot of plays. Um, 
they, they're a good tackling team. They do some things that that are uh, difficult schematically. Uh, I think Tom Kamar does a great job with their defense. So, uh, you know, got our hands full. If, if you go back um, to maybe when you're assistant in other places and you watched his offense, has he changed or just does his personnel change? I mean, has it kind of been always the same thing way back at the BYU days, all those days that he was the office coordinator? Does he change with his personnel or is it what he does? Uh, I mean, there's always some change. Like, has he but changed some his things, offenses now? Some, some things show up that are clear back from the 90s that, you know, that you see that are staples. Right. But, I mean, they did some things a week ago against San Jose that we hadn't seen out of them. So they're they're not afraid to, to get, throw some wrinkles in, that's for sure. But there's some things they do that are that are staples of their offense, too, Ed, so that have been there for years. So... Um, obviously, a lot of sound principles, and uh, with some some good window dressing, and then some good hard nose stuff too. Did you ever at Montana or anyone else ever study his stuff at all? Uh, you know, I was more as a defensive guy over the years at different places, playing against them, Go, going all the way back to the BYU days. Is your brother having fun? I don't know. You have to ask him. Uh, it's not. It's not much fun being a defensive coach, frankly. It just isn't. Coaching defense isn't fun. There's nothing about it that's fun. Playing it's fun. Yeah. Coaching it, not so much. <laughs> Were you able to get the Gatorade out of your shirt, coach, or did you even wash it? Did you frame it? Or I said it's hanging in the locker. It's stiff. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna frame it or something? Yeah. Why not? Something. Maybe it'll get up and walk in here one of these days. Everybody good? Thanks, man.